Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be doing Grenadiers, Lasertrons, and Medics taking on some bases as we still have the Lasertrons, which is pretty awesome. I'm excited. So we have Grenadier health plus 55 in the tribe, so might as well use them. And we're going to use the, I, I would say this is kind of a wacky strategy. So let's throw down our troops and sh uh, they might actually all be out of range, but... You know, the laser trying to be doing good damage to, uh, I guess, uh, that, I guess it's not enough health to tank a cannon shot, but that's okay. Uh, the laser trying to be doing damage to, uh, buildings behind where the grenadiers are attacking, which is gonna be awesome because the grenadiers have bad aim, so then, uh, it'll just take less effort for them to take out those buildings, but, uh, I think this'll work. It won't be the best, but I think it'll definitely work. We're bringing Captain Eversparks, uh, uh, universal remote because uh, I was gonna bring critter spawn but both uh, grenadiers I think laser trons take them out too but bo uh, I'm not positive on that but they just take out too many of the critters so you know kind of a useless ability but it does distract on some of the defensive fire uh, soon or uh, like very quickly but anyway we're taking out the first base here it was a low level without ice so nothing too hard but you know we'll just hopefully be able to take them out and we 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 gotta we get we just gotta be doing attacks here i got a lot of npc bases i will be able to take out along the way uh just destroy them but you know we'll just hop into the next attack here quick and then we're gonna throw down our troops and then we are gonna shock the first row of buildings here as it is a boom cannon and a cannon so that means they would slowly just pick up our grenadiers but anyway we'll uh, throw some barrages into the back side of the base kind of and then we're gonna start hacking some troops gotta make sure cannons okay cannon did not go for the the uh, grenadiers so that's good but anyway just keep going into this see what we can do I think I will take out both these boom cannons and then I think I'll just leave the shock launcher honestly maybe as we get closer I'll build up the energy to take it out but uh, right now I don't really want to do that in fact we're gonna go for this boom cannon right here instead we're looking pretty solid I might do a flare flare reduction cost is it makes flares super cheap but they still cost energy but anyway we're gonna take out that boom cannon on the left hand side and then that sh gives us excellent pathing for the rest of the space do another flare to redirect our troops kind of get them lined up with the quarters so they just go for the buildings around it, not really anything else, but hopefully that hot pot is not able to. We're actually going to shock the shock launcher because that actually hits so many of the troops that it's not worth it. But as the hot pot does fire, it kind of looks like it does hit the grenadiers, but that's fine. As it pops up, it's going to hit a grenadier. No! Alright, it did not fully take it out, but we're good. As we have a perfect path to the HQ, we are able to take out this second base without any losses it looks like so that's pretty good our grenadiers did not get picked off by a cannon so i'm happy with that so on to the next attack where hopefully we can come across the same luck actually i'm going to zoom out because i kind of want to take out all the npc bases because my metals are a little bit low so gotta gotta inflate the metals a bit but anyway we're gonna get the diamonds i spent 500 on 15 trader tickets diamonds because i had that built up uh the five year anniversary of boom beach actually gave me a ton of diamonds so uh i think i spent the majority of it on uh on those trader the the three or the five extra trader crates are is it five yeah i think it is i forgot was if it was 10 or 15 we're going to be able to take out the shock launcher, both of them actually, and now we are going to throw a couple barrages towards the HQ there, a couple artilleries, try and take out the buildings that will be uh, painful toward the end, and then hopefully we're able to advance and throw an artillery, make sure our troops are doing okay, it looks like a couple are getting a little bit low, but that's as expected, so far we have no casualties. Fingers crossed we keep that up, but anyway, we're going to throw another artillery onto the shot blaster, take it out, and then we're going to throw a box of critters onto the boom cannon, as hopefully that does take it out. If not, okay, we're able to take it out, 
and we're looking pretty good. We have a decent path for this base, and now we just, we're actually going to throw a flare over here. We're going to throw a smoke, and then we will be lined up. He has two shield generators, so we might have to think about taking those out behind the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flare onto one of the boom cannons, and then I'm going to shock them, and hopefully they get the memo that we want to go for the, the shield generators. As that. But we're going to throw a box of critters behind the HQ. Hopefully that does distract the boom cannon fire. It does. Alright, looking looking solid right now. Looking solid. Alright, we're able to take it out. Now we can do a flare onto here. That will be safe. And then we got critters on here, but I don't think we're going to be able to take out that one. So half of, our, half of the shield will be taken out right there. And now I think... Hmm. I'm deciding. Uh, it's all. I guess it is half health, so I guess I will do that. We're gonna do a flare behind it, so then it'll. It's kind of a better angle to do. Actually, I probably could have just powered through it. That's kind of a mistake on me. Anyway, yeah, it looks like a couple are attacking the shield generator, which uh, it's more efficient to all attack it. So. Do a flare onto it for good, take it out in a second here, and then we will be able to take out this base with a final flare onto the HQ. As we have lost two grenadiers and nothing else, we are taking out. We are taking out this base. So. Slowly, I guess. They're, they're not doing as much damage as I thought. Alright, we finally took it out. With only two casualties, that's good. So this strategy seems a little bit lower on the damage side. Uh, but it seems decently okay. I'd rather do all Zookas, but, you know. Had to try this out. Make sure it didn't, it wasn't the best strategy ever or something. But anyway. Uh, we'll start taking out some of the boom cannons on the in this base. By using some barrages and artilleries. Oh, I used two artillery under there. Eh, that was probably good. Alright, how much energy do we have? Alright, so we're clearing a lot of it. And now on the beach, we are going to throw down a box of critters. And then I will bend a shock. Look at that. Oh, we did. We missed that behind cannon. That's fine. I don't think it has the range. But hopefully we are able to take out what I wanted to. We're going to actually hack because I knew I was going to go for the boom cannon. There we go. Look at how good that was. Oh, no. Alright, it's looking alright so far. We are going to throw another shock onto here. Try and slow down some of the damage. And then that boom cannon is getting a little risky. We're going to throw a box of critters behind it, so it's not really targeted by my troops. Which, yeah, and then, alright, after we do get by that boom cannon and shock launcher will be good. We're going to help out taking out that shock launcher by throwing an artillery and then... Uh, Zeus, you are going to be taken out with... You have your boosted health. Come on, man. Uh, but he didn't have any prototypes. Hmm. At least not that I remember taking out. But anyway, now we're on the HQ. It's going to take a few seconds because of his boost health, but that's okay. I guess the uh, laser trons do not take out critters, I don't think. But the grenadiers definitely do, so, you know. Finishing up this attack, we will get hopefully good loot. I didn't really check it out at the beginning. Maybe you guys know, but uh, we got a perfect attack, so that's good. That's good. No losses. No loot either. Oof. Alright, let's move on to the next attack, as this one seems like the most difficult one today. And I think I will take this on. But we're going to. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Just trying to see. All right. That took so much energy, but that's that's kind of what I was planning on. But anyway, we're gonna throw a shock onto the boom cannon, shock launcher, sniper tower. And this base is kind of a little bit odd, honestly. It just seems super super spread out. It's got a gap in it, and 
that could be a problem. I'm not positive. Alright, that boom cannon is starting to pick off my troops, so we're gonna throw a box of critters onto it. Hopefully distract and, you know, kinda take out some of the health, but we might have to flare in that direction. And our hero is almost dead. We're gonna throw a med kit onto, onto Captain Everspark, try and get her up to half health at least. Alright, looking pretty good. Our medics are focusing her now. Uh, didn't seem they were doing that earlier, but now we are good, so... Take out that shock launcher, hopefully, and then we will have kind of an area for our troops. Look at all the ice. This guy's like pure defense. He's at 755, but I guess we'll see. We've lost one troop. We're actually going to try and hack a building because... Oh, no. Captain Everspark died. Oh, not good. That is not good at all. And those boom cannons are, like, reaching my troops. That's going to reach the laser tron. I don't think we're going to be able to take this guy out. I guess this pure defense kind of worked on me, but I think I, I, if I modified the strategy just a little bit, I think I would have been able to take it out, but it was just a super healthy base, and my energy didn't really do it, uh, but anyway, we have a laser tron left, that's it, and medics, so we're going to retreat, but unfortunately this guy was able to beat me with this strategy, so it kind of seems like the strategy is not good, which it's not very smart to use let's say but anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here if you guys did enjoy drop that like button but anyway we'll see you tomorrow bye bye